Over the last five years, the Texas men's golf program has finished outside the top five in the national championship only once. It's a recent run that included a number two finish a year ago, and we now welcome in the architect of the program, the head coach, John Fields. First off, coach, let's talk about the consistency of this program. What is it about what you have built that allows this group to be perennial contenders for the national championship? Well, it's a combination of things, but it starts with the players. Um, we've been very fortunate because of uh, our circumstances being at the University of Texas, um, having the University of Texas Golf Club and an incredible uh, golf community in Central Texas that kind of welcomes great, great players. Um, I've told our guys before, you, you can't win championships without great players. And it's our job as coaches to help them prepare and we might be able to take a really good player to great, but uh, Texas demands so much that uh, it's, it's very hard to, to start from scratch and become really, really good here. You need to, you need to recruit well, and, and fortunately we've been doing that. Well, you have a lot of carryover from the team a season ago that finished runners-up. Three guys that will now make their return to the national championship after playing in that spotlight a year ago. But I know every year, every team, that team dynamic is different. So what makes this group unique? Well, I think the, the chemistry of our team, we, we had kind of a difficult time over this, the course of this year developing that chemistry. Uh, and that's simply because one of our players that played for us last year who's our sixth man now, he was our fifth man last year, was Taylor Funk. And Taylor ended up being the guy that, that our weight was left on uh, at the national championship, if you will. He was the guy that the spotlight was on. And uh, unfortunately, he kind of went into a prolonged slump. The fortunate thing for us is that we've been able to build Steven Cervoni, who's a sophomore out of Florida, and Spencer Seussman transferred in at semester. Uh, from California and uh, we were lucky that that those two guys have really come on they've added a lot to the team stability and chemistry to go along with Scotty Scheffler Doug Gim and Gavin Hall who have made up the bulk of our team over the last three years you bring up the sixth man and it seems like that is more of a focal point than ever now because of the Bo Hostler rule so how do you approach that with that sixth man that you wish you could have had and played with a year ago well the nice thing uh, with the national championship in Chicago, uh, the NCAA has uh, come up with what's called the Hostler rule now. So in match play, you can substitute somebody if somebody gets hurt. And uh, so that's a good thing. Uh, Taylor Funk will be our sixth man. Uh, he won't be on site unless necessary. Okay. Um, but uh, he, he's on call and he's practicing and working hard. How does the course play? Very, very difficult. Uh, if any of the viewers have been watching uh, the, the women's championship, they will see that uh, the golf course is tuned up. It's Midwest, bluegrass rough that's probably this high, probably gonna be laying over by the time we play it. And um, the, the high value will be there. Who's the biggest character on the team? Who keeps things a little light when things are gonna get a little stressful, as I'm sure they will in that national championship environment? Well, it's, it's one of two people. It's either Spencer Seussman, who is our new freshman, who is uh, he's a character for sure. Uh, but all the guys love him and appreciate him. And he's one of those young freshmen that you can uh, rib and, and give the business to, and it just rolls right off his back, and he keeps smiling. And then our assistant coach, John Paul Hebert, does a great job, keeps things loose. He is a wonderful guy. He uh, was a three-time All-American at Texas, uh, finished third in the NCAA. Uh, his senior year and um, has a particular affinity for winning and, and uh, came so close as a player that he's always trying to give our guys uh, the looseness to be, out, to be able to go out and play their best. Finally, do you expect any Gators on the course in Illinois? Because no. I know a guy and you know a guy as well. Well, Cody Gribble is one of the, <laughs> one of the great people that played at Texas for us. Uh, for us. I, I love that guy. and. I probably would prefer that he not play with Gators, but uh, he is... Uh, What's he doing here, Coach? <laughs> having fun. Was he always that fun. cool? Yes, yes, absolutely. Cool under pressure, uh, knows where he stands in, in different situations. Uh, we love that guy. Well, we look forward to staying away from the Gators and seeing a lot of birdies. We appreciate the time and good luck in that national championship. Thank you. Thank you, Lowell.